Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka The Markster. This is video number 78 in the Free CAD series. And the fourth and final video in the little mini series Introduction to the Measure Model Workbench. Today, I wanted to show how to do the B splines. We haven't done the B splines yet. And there's a user on the forum who uploaded this file and that he's having trouble with. You see the black sides, those are flipped normals. And he's having other issues with it as well. So I thought I would go ahead and remodel this in Mesh Remodel and make a video of it. So that's going to be what we're doing today. Let me show you which version of FreeCAD I'm using. This is 0 0.19. Revision number 222.66. Probably there's a newer version out. I just haven't updated it. You might notice my cursor is much bigger. I had some feedback from a user who said the cursor was too small for folks like him with poor eyesight. So I made the cursor a little bigger. If you think it's too big or not big enough, let me know in the comments. <clears throat> okay, so first let's go to Mesh Remodel, get that toolbar loaded. Then we'll select the object. This is a cookie cutter, by the way, in the shape of a Fleur de Lis. And we'll make the coplanar points object. I'm sorry, we'll make the points object, not the coplanar one. Now we'll select three of these points on the plane and create a coplanar points object for this face. So my plan is to make two wires, one for the inside, one for the outside, and make them both in the faces. We'll do that for the top and the bottom. Then we'll loft in part workbench, make two lofts using the outer faces and the inner faces for the other loft, and then cut the inner loft from the outer loft. So let's we'll start with the inner. The arcs are very easy to make. You just select three points, the beginning point, one in the middle, and the other end, and then create the arc. And I'm going to hide it. And this B spline, this is a Any clip, any lips, but I'm going to make a B spline. It's a little bit tedious. You have to select all these points. And if you mess up, I'm skipping these really close together. If you mess up and click in empty space, you have to start all over again. not getting every point but that's okay I don't think we really need it for this it's a little bit frustrating if you click in empty space and lose all of your selections and have to start all over. Alright, so we've got that made. And now we want to hold down the shift key here because unlike when you make the polygon, if you accidentally don't press shift and you close it, 
you can easily delete that excess edge. But here, it's going to be a, a mess if you if you have it close itself when you don't want it to. So hold on to shift and click. And now you can see a nice elliptical shaped bead spline. I'm going to hide that one. The reason to hide it, I have found through some experimentation that if you click the same point that was used to create the B spline or the arc, rather than the edge of the actual B spline or arc, when you create the next one, when you go to connect them together using the upgrade create a wire tool, you have better results. So we got those three inner arcs made. Now we can make some straight edges here. And here, we didn't press shift, but that's okay, no big deal. We can just delete that extra line. And now, let's see if we can select all of these edges and upgrade to a wire and we had success we see here in the report view and we have a wire and a tree so we can delete these arcs and the edges select the wire upgrade it again to a face and then we can delete that wire so now we've got this interface made We might be able to go to part and do a part 2D offset on that. Let's see. Sometimes this tool works and sometimes not. Yeah, it looks like it's working. So it looks like it's a one. He's got a thin edge there, half a millimeter. All right, so that saves us some time. And we should be able to use that 2D offset tool directly in the loft tool. Now we need to make a coplanar points object for this side. So we'll select three of these points, three points to bind a plane. You see the three I have selected. And we'll create our coplanar points object. And let's do the inside again. Make the arc. Then the B spline. This big cursor kind of gets in the way, so I am making a sacrifice for you guys. Hope you appreciate it. It's a little bit nerve wracking because if you mess up, if you're not pre selected when you press click, you gotta start all over. I've got an idea for having to pre-select automatically do the selection, but I haven't worked on that yet. And it might not work. All right. Now we'll make that B spline. Hold on, shift. Let's hide it. 
The arcs are much easier. You just need three points. Got all of our edges made. Select them all here in the tree. Upgrade to a wire, hopefully. Yep. There's our new wire. We'll delete those edges. Prune the tree. Keep it clean. Delete that wire now. We've got a face made. Let's see if we can 2D offset this one as well. Maybe pushing our luck a little bit. Yeah, it's working. And this, let's see, how far did he go? Four, three and a half, three millimeters it looks like. So we've got our faces made. So the two offsets will be lofted together and the two faces. These will be the outer part. We can hide those now. And the faces for the next one. And we can hide the faces. So now we just need to make the boolean cut. Select the outer one first, then the inner, and then make the cut. And that looks good. So we'll find it true, and I don't think it's going to make a difference. Alright, now let's check our geometry. Invalid curve on surface. That's that. Is that B spline? Let's see if we can make a good mesh anyway. make the mesh I use the defaults and we'll check the mesh in the mesh design workbench analyze and evaluate put some folds on surface I think we can solve this problem easily enough let's delete this mesh Go back to close this. Go back to part. Now let's apply a chamfer to these two edges. Let's see what one millimeter looks like. That's too much. Double click it. Let's try 0.25. Okay, now let's make a mesh out of this again and see if we have a good mesh. I'm just using the standard default settings here. And uh, let's analyze that. Alright, no errors. So we've got a good mesh. Even though there was an error, we checked geometry. Just because you get some errors in here when you're checking these bop checks, 
doesn't necessarily mean it's a, a unusable model. See no errors without Bob check enabled. So it's a more extensive check that checks for a lot of stuff that might or might not give you problems. Now self-intersect is almost always going to cause problems. But some of these others you might better still make a good mesh out of it. So how would I fix that other problem if I needed to is I can make an ellipse here instead of the B spline. I showed how to do that in the last video. Well that's going to do it for today. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.